Hello everyone, and welcome back to EU4, playing as Mexico. Probably the last episode, most likely. The last normal episode, at least. So we have uh, six more years, roughly, to do what we want to do. Uh, maxing out again. Might just take this tech soon instead. How expensive is it? Maybe we'll wait until next year. So, I want to attack key here. Oh, well, there's stuff up here. Korea will help, and the Wu would help. That's not too bad. Um, okay, go here. Eh, uh, fine. Did I only have one army here? I guess so. Hmm. Let's transport you over here. If we can, we'll also try and take Taiwan from them. We'll see. Why don't you go here as well? I know I could maybe just walk from here to here, but... Rather... S uh, consolidate my armies. <laughs> uh, convert all the things. Oh. Ooh, discipline. Yes. Very handy. And why don't you head over here as well? Watch your. Okay. Mm no army close by. I guess we can build one here. And uh, wait one tick, then we'll take some tech. Oh, let's get a new Admiral. Cristobal, okay, that's decent, that's decent. Okay, uh, tick, 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 tick. All the ticks, yes please. You have two siege pips, you have one, right. I suppose, no, we could actually move more troops in here and get even bigger. Yeah, plus eight. The maximum, so plus ten in total. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Mm, nice. Convert. Uh, head up here. Cool beans, you go down here. And... Do that. Whoops. Go here. Would you like? Stop it. Sure, land there. What happened with the rest of the troops? Are they still building? Oh, they are. Okay. Mm. Not building anything there. Lost a general. Combine that. Mm. Do that as well. Uh, sure. Combine, kill, hopefully. You're chilling there, they are taking that. It is what it is. Let's see if we can't finish this war quickly. Alright, that should revert back to our control. Yeah, good. Back to Taiwan. You are blockading the strait. At uh, the port and the strait, I guess. You go here and you go here. Their capital is in Nanjing. Right. We could maybe try and make a dash for it. Take their capital and hopefully end the war. For the things that we want. Everything is copacetic here. Well, we could do this. Meet up in type Ching. Yeah. Uh, go here. Do that. Go here. Ooh, a navy. Land in. Uh, oh, there's a fort here, right. Okay. Sweet. 
the things. Uh, okay. Rebellion shenanigans is uh, getting slightly annoying. Okay, back to the east. Mm hmm. Uh, chill down here instead. Need to put the rest of the stuff we have in uh, into trade companies as well. All right. Art not willing to yield. We don't want that much. Uh, nope. Not yet. Okay. Guess we'll take more stuff then. Eh, uh, here. What's our inventory is at? Uh, 56.9. It's decent. Oh, you know what? Belay that order. Head up here. Let's see if we can actually kill them. They do have a <coughs> decent stack running around compared to us. Can we do anything? We already... Mm, nope. Nothing that gives us more... Morale or anything like that. Unrest. Mm, nah, that's okay. Hmm... Oh, well, well, army is much better than theirs, so I guess that works out. Still, I think if they had committed everything, we might have lost. I think this is a bit delayed, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they haven't fixed that yet, but maybe they have in the new Lines of the North DLC. I haven't played it yet, to be honest, because I'm still finishing this Let's Play here on Origins. I heard it's decent, the new DLC. We'll give it a go after this. Come on. No. Come on. Thanks. Uh, I don't know. Go here. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. uh, let's see. Nope, not yet. Are we close? Yeah, we're actually pretty close. Maybe if we hmm, went up and destroyed them up here, they would yield. Let's do that instead. Force, force, force. I am speed. Oh, they... Ah, uh, shite, they're bringing in reinforcements. Crap! Ugh, that's a lot of troops. Mm, well, we have you. Ah, uh, man. Oh. Well, there you go. I was not expecting a victory, to be honest, but they are willing to yield uh, what we want. So let's just take that. Uh, cord. I suppose you can just go here, and you can go here as well. You're going down there. Good, good, good. Keep converting. Mm, yep, yep. Oh, here. Sure. Sure. Uh, oh, we haven't caught that yet. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Eh, this is fine. All right. Oh, are you going to? No. Nope. There we go. Why don't you head over here? And... Well... Uh, hmm, go here... Okinawa. Nice, nice. Just two armies, I suppose. Go here. Convert. Ah, I don't think we have time to take the stuff we want from Spain, to be honest. Nah, let's. I, I, I hate being at war when we end, for some reason. One of my many um, <laughs> ticks. <laughs> Just feels wrong. So if I can avoid it, I will. But we can do this. And perhaps. Yeah, do that as well. Grab this. Oh, right, that's my luck. Ah, uh, well. 
Maybe we can just hold here in a moment. We did all right, I think. All things considered. Why don't you go and help? Um, yeah. Because going towards Spain will, I don't, th we don't have, like, we can we now finish that war in a couple of years since we're facing so much. So their war enthusiasm will be relatively high for a very long time, so we can redo that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, something I noticed after last episode, I don't think, I'm not sure when it happened, but uh, Bulgaria is a thing. They, I guess they got released in some kind of war, but, yeah. I guess the Ottomans are turning into the sick man of Europe at long last. Well, they have been a menace to the Europeans for, well, quite a while now. But they are dropping slowly here in great power status. Russia is about to overtake them as well, I, I guess. Malindi. There you go. Grab this fella. Benin. Hey. Grab that fella. Yeah, I've been blessed with the very good generals, that's for certain. I also have a decent boost to... Uh, Army tradition, somewhat. And it's... Hmm? Nah. Let's blast the walls. Sure. Uh-huh. Sure. Go out of here. Let's annex the bastards. Yoink. Praise be. Mm, cool beans. Sure. And sure. This. Let's put some. Ah, come on! Stupid revolution thing. It's peasants. Uh, okay, go here. You go there. Do we have a spare army here? We do. Go here. Use whatever fleet is at hand. Will be removed? Yes. Get rid of it. Filthy rebels. Revolutionaries, even. Uh huh. Yes, 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 yes. Still. Courier controller. Right. Do that. Do this. This. Did we cap out uh, mechanism? We did. How nice. Okay, we dealt with that. Sweet. And that. How's it going here with the revolution? Eh, it's spreading. And it won't stop. Oh, damn it. Ugh. I could embrace it, but we don't have time for that. Because, uh, well, I think the revolution has won't re revolt when it's much higher than this. Mexican. Are they even at... Yeah, they are here, right. Okay. Uh, right, we're running out of time. A uh, bit... Yeah. No, I didn't even start my timer. Let's see, how long have I played for? Only 14 minutes. You know what? We'll do the epilogue here as well. Uh, yeah. I think that's fine. Um, I guess we can wait until... Nah, there's nothing really to wait for, to be honest. It's just a waiting game at the moment, uh, so we'll stop here. Uh, I'll do my epilogue in the same sitting, I suppose. Um, yeah, no national anthem, though, but... Uh, I will. I'm, I also get the copyright... Copyrighted? Every time I play a song. So I sort of, well, stop doing that, to be honest. 
Um, yeah. Not... It's not a big deal, but still a bit annoying. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> apparently every song on YouTube has some kind of copyright, basically. Even, like, national anthems, which is really odd. Anyways, um... Yeah, so well, let's look at the map modes and see how we did let's, to begin with, and see... Well, the Empire, how, how are they doing? Eh, horrible, as usual. Religion? Well... Catholic being somewhat supreme in Europe. A few Protestant and Reformed holdouts, and of course Anglican on the British Isles. Um, sort of... Normal Muslim world. Catholic South India, which is quite fun. Did they...? I can't see if they statified it. I guess they did since they converted it. Huh. Nice. And uh, Catholic South... Middle and South Africa, and sort of a bit of West Africa as well. Um, mainly Catholic South America. It's so... it's so annoying that colonial nations doesn't convert. <laughs> They probably have a lot of a lot of bonuses to heretics or infidels or whatever. Yeah, he heretics and heathen provinces do not give any penalties. It's still a bit annoying to be honest. Uh, because shouldn't they? I mean, aren't most most of South America Catholic, if not all of it? Basically. Mm, oh well. Uh, mixed bag up here in North America, Anglican slash Catholic. Mm, probably mostly Catholic, I suppose. And um, somewhat Catholic Southeast Asia and Australia. Though they didn't convert it, but they're still... Catholics are ruling. I guess Orthodox Siberia slash Russia. Yeah. Um, culture, we didn't... Well, we did of course do the Mexican thing. Right, but uh, let's see. Did Europe do anything? Uh, Dalmatian in here. Hmm... Anything else? A bit of French or whatever here uh, in Switzerland. Uh, seems relatively normal, as far as I can tell. In Europe, hmm, Portuguese South Africa. Hmm, yeah, I guess that's sort of the same stuff, really. Uh, anything else that's interesting? Don't, uh, uh, autocratic, democratic-ish. <laughs> Public, rather. Uh, anything else? Dynastic? Rory Kurevich. Hmm. They, don't they start with that family? Hmm. So I guess they kept them. Osmanoglu in Ottoman, Stiavis, Portugal, Smith. <laughs> In uh, Great Britain, De Valois, Valois, Master Farid, mm -hmm. Sukawa. Yep, all right. Revolution, yeah, spreading from Europe in many places, which is very annoying. And geographical, not interesting. Economic, mm, I guess we can do development. Mexico, eh, being somewhat yellowish, few greens in there. And a bunch of reds. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yellowish Caribbean island islands. Caribbean, Caribbean. I never, I'm not really sure what, how to pronounce it. Caribbean, Caribbean. One of the two, probably. Diplomatic map mode. Mm, collision. Mm, nope. Uh, great powers. Well, the usual suspects, almost. Well, except, of course, Mexico being <laughs> top dog. Players! Yeah, well, that's just us. Right, so I guess that's that. Let's look at the ledger, see how we did overall. Country. Income. Almost 3k, that's pretty good. A ton of trade and a ton of production. Not a lot of taxes, but that's not unusual for my playstyle. I generally don't do a lot of taxes, more production and trade to get income. Um, but, yeah, far ahead of the second place, that's for certain. Even if we combine the couple of econ uh, economies here, we will still be top dog. Our treasury is <laughs> through the roof. Maximum power over a million. Oh, right, we broke the ceiling there. 
All tech, all ideas, and a decent amount of power projection. Comments, nah. Score, well, we are top here, so that's pretty good. Earning the most per month, Russia just behind, well, almost just behind. Score through the ages, we've got serum discovery, a decent amount in reformation, I suppose. A very good amount in athleticism, and a whole ton in um, revolutions. Whoops, uh, yeah. Catholicism, reigning supreme. Devices. Military leaders, we should be... Oh, well, okay, I thought we had more. We do have some pretty good generals, overall. We're blessed. Current rulers? Nah. I wonder, is there a 666, I wonder, overall? Oh, there's an overall tab now. Well, is that new? Hmm. Uh, yeah, Enric the Fourth. He is uh, pretty damn good. I guess this is from, uh, yeah, Republic. It's not difficult getting a 666 in a, in a Republic. However, in a monarchy, that's much more difficult. And we got him here. Henrique. Very good one. How old is he? I guess we can check. A 56, so probably have 10 years or something to go, unless we're unlucky. Still, a very blessed ruler. The previous rulers, right. became a kingdom here, middle of the 17th century, basically. Then we have the Agravieso, mainly ruling, a few here and there, who were not from the family, but Isabella, I guess that's a regency, that's my guess. Yeah, I think it was, Isabella and Isabella II. Nice. Great projects, nah. Mm, how would, okay, second place in morale, not bad, not bad. It's hard beating France in morale. Also with all that uh, revolutionary things. Discipline, 124, but still not, no. Top dog, though relatively good overall. Siege ability, uh, decent. Defensiveness, <laughs> not great. Wow, 80. Jesus Christ. Luck. Professionalism, mm, okay. Tradition, very good. Armies, I don't think we have the largest, nope. But we could build a whole lot more if we wanted. We have the economy for it. Maybe not the force limit, but we certainly have the economy and the manpower for it. Navy? Yeah. Well, we do have the largest navy, so I guess that's something. Could build a, <laughs> a thousand more ships if we wanted. Army losses? I don't think it's too bad. Nope. Four million. Ultimates? Usually up here. Russia also doing quite good, quite good in losing men. But that's not surprising that uh, we see these fellas up there. Naval losses? Eh, I don't think we lost a whole lot of ships. 16. Armies? Mm, nope. Ships? Nah. Income? Taxation? Okay, still second place in taxation. First place there, and in trade, and in gold, 130. That's a good amount. Tariffs? Nothing. Total? Still top dog. Income, inflation, uh, okay, mainly, we are, well, we are converting the last bits, so very Catholic realm. Mainly Mexican, this is only counting for our statified territories, uh, so not our, well, our territories. So, mainly Mexican, and a few things for those, um, oh, we have some Dutch. Uh, for those uh, great projects, and most is, most are cord, producing a lot of livestock. Fish, grain, mm, and a mishmash of everything else. Technology, trade nodes, mm, I don't know, total, I guess we can, yeah, the Caribbean, almost 800, not bad, not bad. We are taking all the trade. Market share, 81 in clothes, damn. Ivory slaves, oh, I thought we banned slaves, I guess not. Manpower, gold. Yeah, we have our fingers in everything except why. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Efficiency, 120. Mm, not too bad. Cantism, 100. Oh, damn Iceland. Oh, you're a thing Iceland. Hmm. 
Set some trade, yada yada yada. Mm. Revolutionary war against the Ottomans, okay. And great powers, we are number one. How wonderful. Iceland. Did they get their own ideas? I kind of forgot. I'm gonna take a look. I think they did. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, allows explorers and conquistadors to begin with. That's pretty good. No, they don't have any colonists, but... That's uh, something they get later, actually. Yeah, ambition. A lot of shipbuilding and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Hmm, nice. All right, let's do a um, timeline and see how we did.
Right, so that was the timeline and uh, basically the end of this uh, let's play at this stage. So if I wanted, if we had more time, I would have liked to have gained a bit of stuff over here in East Africa. I think we marked it in the last episode what I would have liked, something like this, because then I think this wasteland would have been colored our color and I think that would have looked uh, better, uh, mainly for the uh, aesthetics, obviously. I would also have liked, well, all of the spice islands here, including uh, Papua New Guinea, I think. Uh, the um, Ache Island, I think this is called Ache Island, right? Maybe even some of this peninsula as well, but otherwise the islands. And I would have liked the rest of the islands in the Pacific as well. Spain got a bunch of them. Not that many, but a bunch, and I would have liked that as well. Uh, if we had maybe 20 more years or 15 more years, then I think that would be doable. If we had like 50 more years, I would have liked to have gained Australia and uh, New Zealand, maybe Japan as well, um, maybe expanded into West Africa. I think that would have looked good on a Mexican colonial empire. But uh, yeah, this let's play is over, so if you have enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I very much do appreciate your support. And a big extra thanks as always to my channel members, Mike Murray, Tim Marino, Wiscomad, Jeffrey Henderson, Jonathan Crane, Confusion Sergeant, Ozymandias and Clovis. Thanks again, and I hope I see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.